Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back in front of these two gorgeous flags. And today we're talking about something pretty cool. Some more 3D printing stuff here today in my hands. I have my uh, Western Field 550A. It's basically a Mossberg 500 for all intents and purposes that you used to be able to buy at like your local Sears and Roebuck or Western Field or whatever it is, you know, grocery store, hardware store, department store, uh, made by like a name brand, but in and of itself, not so much. Um, when I got this, it was a bird gun and it had like a 24, 28 inch barrel on it. I hacked it down to 20 inches or 18 or whatever it was. It's legal length, you know, don't shoot my dog or whatever. But, um, what we're talking about today is a 3d printed mount for a flashlight. Okay. So I got this gun for like 120 bucks or something like that. No serial number, scary ghost gun. And it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's, I mean, again, it's a Mossberg 500, um, pump gun, 12 gauge, Beautiful, beautiful setup for home defense. Plus, another reason why I like it is because the wood furniture. Now, we shouldn't have to worry about things like this, but if you ever had to skin that smoke wagon on a bad guy and blow him away, and with a 12 gauge, you're going to blow him away, um, this is going to look much better sitting in front of a jury of your peers because it looks like grandpa's old hunting shotgun as opposed to something synthetic and black and tactical and whatever. Maybe makes a difference, maybe doesn't, but... I'm not opposed to it. It's a good old classic look and, uh, you know, getting it done. But <clears throat> the mount, I did not print this mount. Uh, Drew Carrymore printed this mount, and obviously it's not just all completely 3D printed. It does take some bolts. I don't know specifically which ones, but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty common bolt pattern. Um, and it'll hold a one-inch flashlight. And it bolts onto the gun. Apparently, I put this on wrong or something like that. He got all mad at me. He was yelling at me. And I did experience... Uh, slight cracking when torquing it down but it's on there it's sturdy it's not coming off and uh, it works you know i literally it, it's a light mount so i have my surefire g2x on there i forget exactly which one this is if it's the tactical or if it's the whatever um but momentary or constant and uh, it attaches to the gun now over time i don't know how well it's going to hold up we're still technically during um the testing process and all that stuff and then to the heat um it's pretty, you know, heat resistant. You can make complete guns out of PLA, PLA plus, stuff like that. I believe this is PLA plus, but don't quote me on it. Uh, but again, I mean, Scalar Works who? Uh, Arasaka who? Uh, you know, whoever your favorite mounting, you know, solution is. Uh, you can 3D print one. I thought that was pretty cool. It goes right on uh, the gun. You can get the files online. I think I have the files somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to find them. And then if I do, maybe I could leave it in the comment section below or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but it's awesome. I think it's super cool. It's nice and tight to the gun. It doesn't get in the way of the pump. Uh, this is loaded, so I'm not going to go messing with it. But, I mean, it's right there. 3D printed. Same thing as, like, you would buy, um, you know, UTG or something on the cheap end. Or, you know, higher end, like I said, Scalar Works or whoever. Um, for like mounting solutions for your rifle or your shotgun again specifically obviously this we're talking about shotguns but uh, G2X which again in and of itself for the money is an excellent option it's more than bright enough you can get them in 300 lumens 600 lumens I think even more now and they're affordable they're less than 100 bucks and you get a surefire okay an American made surefire light that you can depend on that you can count on that you can mount to a gun long gun shotgun rifle whatever you need and uh, get it done. So this lays right next to the bed, and uh, you know it's loaded up with double out buckshot. I do have to get uh, some Velcro back for this, and then throw a SOE side saddle on there, and maybe a sling or something. But for the house, just inside the house, even though a sling is super important uh, on this, I probably won't put one on there. Plus, it doesn't even have any sling mounts on it as we speak right now, so I'd have to add that. I'm trying to keep this as budget as possible since I have such little money into it to begin with but i'm loving it i think it's super cool and it just shows the capabilities and the things that you can do um, with and for your firearms with 3d printing you literally in your own home you can push a button and make this and then now you've got a useful tool if it breaks you can print another one hopefully it doesn't break when you need it the most um you know pick up the light get back to it whatever you got to do duct tape that son of a bitch um but super important 
having a light on your fighting rifle, your fighting shotgun, your fighting handgun, whatever you are using defensively or offensively, depending on the context. Uh, most of the time we're using our guns defensively though, and uh, hopefully we never have to use them offensively, but if you guys don't stand up and speak out, eh, you know, so don't get backed into a corner, but make sure if you do, you have proper equipment and a way to see what you're shooting because you can't shoot what you can't see. And uh, I, I just absolutely love it. I think it's cool. And uh, it's kind of neat too. You got this super old shotgun literally made before there was mandated serial numbers on firearms. And then we got some 3D printed accoutrement. So I like that a lot. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, share the video, and uh, you know participate, communicate. All that is very much so appreciated. Make sure you check the first three links in the description box below of this video and all my videos. Those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights. And furthermore, if you want to help support the channel, there's a bunch of ways to do that. Discount codes, affiliate links, all in the description box. The, the link tree, the Freedom Fatigues, which is all for charity. So check them out, first responder and military veteran charities. That's awesome. And then furthermore... Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you ring that notification bell. We're constantly fighting. I say we, I don't have a mouse in my pocket or under my hat, I don't think, but <laughs> I am constantly, and well, not just me, everybody on YouTube that does content like this, but we are fighting the constant uphill YouTube anti-gun algorithm and we need your help. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.